Well, good morning champions and welcome back to another episode. It is time for something completely different. We've gone international, chasing trout in New Zealand. Have a bloody go at it. Anyways, let's roll the intro and get into it. So, well this is the most northwestern tip of the Wakatipu Lake. So I've just got Glen Orkey behind me and uh, me and my mate have been staying in Queenstown for most of this short little trip. And had planned to do a fair bit of fishing, but um, unfortunately today is the day to catch a trout. And that's just due to Jetstar losing our luggage for a bit. But anyways, it is an absolutely beautiful day. Oh, he's bogged him. The plan of attack today is fish along this um, edge of the lake here. And this is where it's fed into by, we've got the Reese River behind me. And up further that way, we have the Dart River. So being winter, just like Australia, a lot of the rivers are closed. The Reese River is open, so we may head up that a bit later. Maybe try some fly fishing. If I could get a trout on fly, I would be absolutely stoked. But to start things off, we're doing some spinning here in the lake. And trout aren't really my forte. I've done a bit of fishing up in Barrington and a bit of fishing down in Tasmania. But a couple of reports I've heard have said the mouths of the rivers where they feed into the lake, that's where you're gonna find fish schooled up as they're about to make their trip up the river to spawn. So just throwing around a little 10 gram spoon. I've never had much luck with the spoons and spinners for trout, but we'll give this a go for a bit and then maybe switch over to either a soft plastic or a um, hard body, which I have had some success with. Two waves coming in, it really feels like I'm uh, spinning for Taylor or something. Anyways, I'll get back to you when we change technique or hopefully when we get a fish. The water is just so blue and clear, it's incredible. And I have seen a few trout milling around. So if this doesn't pick one up pretty soon, I'll probably swap over to, we'll see if, um, the jig heads I've got will work with the soft plastics here with the turbulence we've got. Otherwise I'll go for a, a little uh, hard body. Well, we've covered some ground with the spoon, but got no love at all. That's part of the course with me. I know they work, but I just haven't had much luck. So changing over to an old faithful and that is a three inch paddle tail in black gold. This is an eco gear um, grass minnow. And that's on a 112 ounce jig head. And the retrieve that's worked for me in the past is a bit of a start stop twitchy retrieve. Let it stay near the bottom. Just a few little taps of the rod tip, a wind. And just work it like that. We'll also slow it down. I'll do a slow roll and then I'll also do a bit like a flatty hop, which was the advice which, that I was given as well. But we'll see what works. Just always paying attention to that line for any little taps. Because they'll likely hit it on that pause. Yes, yes, got him, ah. yes, oh my god, yes, oh, 
Hell yes. Absolutely stoked. I think we've got a brown. Come ashore, buddy. Let's have a look at ya. And he could be a PB trout. We'll get a look at him. Do I use the net? I might do it. I've only got four pound leader on. So come here, mate. Oh, yes, trip made. And we've got him pretty early in the day too. This is just absolutely awesome, guys. If you can't tell, I'm stoked. Yeah. Oh. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come on. Oh, I think he's just seen me. Yeah, he's a lovely brown. Just going to back the drag off a tiny bit here. He's playing up. Yes. Come on. He's not giving up. We'll have to come out a bit deeper for him. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Yes, guys. Yes. Oh, so good. Oh. Got the New Zealand trout and he will be a PB for sure. Come here, fella. Oh, uh, he's just crumbed himself. Come on, Lion, come off. Oh, well, there we go. I believe he's a brown. He's just a very light colored brown. I'm going to get the hook out of him. I'm going to give him a little wash off. If he gets away, that's okay. But I just want to give him a wash off and give you guys a better look. Come on, guy, let me get this out. So there we go. Absolutely beautiful. And he's going to be about the same as my PB I got down in Tasmania. So I won't claim it yet. Hopefully we can get a bigger one that's definitely a PB. But absolutely frothing. All right, all right. Oh, he's ready to go. Well, let him go in the clear water. That'll be the go for you. Make sure he swims good. Beautiful. Just pump that lactic acid out of his muscles. So I can keep this guy, but um, look, I'm planning a big day of fishing and I don't have anything to put him in to keep him chilled. Even though it is pretty chilly anyways. But we'll let him go. Go spawn. Look, and there he goes. What a beauty. Absolutely stoked. I'm going to keep flicking. I'll come back in a minute or two, just make sure he's moved on. If need be, I'll give him a bit more of a swim. Make sure he's good as gold, but he's taking some big gulps there, just resting up. Thank you very much. Well, we know they're gonna need a soft plastic. 
took a few casts, um, so what I'm going to do is just put on a little die with double clutch. And this is also a pattern that's worked well for me in the past, so we'll see if they want to munch that a bit more eagerly. I also just dabbed on a bit of um, gulp gel when I got that fish, so I'm going to keep up with that, put that on, it can't hurt. I should be able to get a little bit more casting distance out of this too, which will be awesome. And much like the soft plastic, I'm just going to be changing it up, doing a bit of a twitch twitch pause, as well as a slow roll. Both have worked for me in the past, um, those techniques, so We'll see how that goes. Hopefully get one on the diver. Yes, yes, got it, another one. <laughs> on the double clutch. Hell yes. Another brown, a bit littler. We'll just drag him ashore. Don't want to get the trebles in the net. Oh, what a pretty, pretty fish. There we go. There he is. Beautiful little brown. Gorgeous fish. He is ready to rock and roll. Anyway, he goes off like a rocket, healthy as. Yo! Yeah, got him. I watched that one follow it. Yes. Oh, too good. Come up here, mate. Yes, I just saw that one at the last second, tailing it. There we go. Another beautiful brown. Awesome. So glad I'm getting them. All right, he's ready to rock and roll. And off he goes. Fantastic. It looks like the double clutch is fishing pretty well. Got him. Got him, another good one. And that was your second cast after that last one too. Too good. We might use the net for this one. I'd hate to lose this double clutch. Actually, no, nah, we'll surf him up. If we lose him, we lose him. And there he is. That is a mighty fine trout in my book. I know they get much, much bigger here, but that is beautiful to me. Awesome, absolutely inhaled it. Another beautiful brown. Ah, oh, so glad to get onto them just because this is my only day. We'll be heading up the slopes for the last two days. So I am stoked. 
What a location too. I wouldn't think that this would be where I'd ended up. But I've just followed the advice. You come down Queenstown Way, the bloke at um, Hunting Fishing New Zealand at Queenstown gave me a bunch of free advice. Like I always intend to go in there and spend a bit, so you know, get the tips. But I kind of told him what I had and he said, nah, you'll be right. And just told me what was the lay of the land up here. So I highly recommend popping in to see those guys if you head down this way. Right, let's get another one. Right there. Watched him tail it in, just give it a pause, and got him. Too good. Well guys, I've made my way back to the car. I've got one more fish just down here. Another good one, but the GoPro had died. I don't think the batteries are liking this cold weather. The plan was to head up this river and have a go at fly fishing. Um, I just talked to a local bloke down there. He said it's going to be tough going, but I think I'm going to give it a crack. But um, this very well could be the end of the video. If I get one, I'll make sure to include it. But anyways, I hope you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you see a uh, fly caught trout right about now. If not, hope you've enjoyed and I'll catch you next time.